What is up, my dudes? We are headed up to northern Wisconsin right now. We're gonna go run some wolves. Finally got someone with a tag call. Talked to another buddy of mine. Had over four tags already at like five o'clock this morning. I'm sure more are gonna start showing up here real soon. Oh, we've already got one. We'll see as the day goes on. People are gonna start waking up. Thinking around now is when phone calls are gonna start being made. People got tags. The problem is with the way the DNR fucked up this draw here. They did the draw last night. All results became public knowledge or became available at midnight tonight. And the hunt legally started then at midnight. But we can't run hounds till six. Now I don't know how the fuck that works. But a lot of people I think slept in and they haven't checked their Go Wild accounts yet. They don't know if they drew tags. I called most of the people. I think I got three people left I got to talk to that I had apply and none of them drew a tag. Uh, Jerry didn't draw a tag. I didn't draw a tag. So apparently more than 4,000 people applied. I'm just hoping... I know the antis were going to try and put in a bunch of them. They were going to try and get a bunch of tags. That way we couldn't fill them. But with a quota system, that doesn't work. It just it makes it harder for us to fill the quota. But perfect conditions. Fresh snow. 24 degrees right now. I'm going to say we're going to have a hard time not filling quotas up north here today or tomorrow. Tomorrow, I think our snow is going to go to shit. We'll see how the southern zones do. I hope they fill fast. I know that Black River one's going to fill fast. It's that central farmland one scares me, though, with the way the snow is going. Hopefully, it gets filled fast. Uh, I'm hoping this is a 48-hour hunt max. Although, yeah, it'd be fun if it were a long hunt. I don't have a tag. I hope lots of people kill wolves. I'm not even going up to where I'm running bear. There's way more wolves up there, but it's just, it's not safe to run dogs. Up there, so we're going to a different area where it's safer to run dogs. Because running one or two wolves with the hounds isn't going to hurt a hound. Running into ten or more in some of those packs, it, dogs are in danger. So... We're just playing it safe here. Well, it's kind of farmland, but it's kind of northern woods. It's kind of a mix. I'll keep you guys posted. Well, first day of wolf season is going good. Finally got one guy found, actually drew a tag. Everyone that I had apply, out of everyone, nobody drew a tag. So, uh, got a little bit of a late start. By the time I got up here, the roads are glare ice. I'm actually going a little fast right now. Probably shouldn't be on my phone, but fuck it, I'll be fine. I was going just past where two people went in the ditch. They had tow trucks and cop cars there and everything. So I slowed way down, crested the hill, and all of a sudden my ass end kicked out. Sent my uh, snowmobile trailer into a fishtail and put me all over the road. Luckily, there's barely anyone out today. I was able to save it and not go in the ditch. All I know is we better kill a fucking wolf. These guys have been safe from federal jurisdiction, keeping them safe since 2014. Not a huge one, but it's time for them to die. So this morning I was checking tracks, and I swear to God I came through here 45 minutes ago. There was not a kill here. That's how fast these wolves kill and eat the shit. They got hair drug out across the whole goddamn road. They must have killed it right here. And all that's left is a hide and half a rib cage. They were just fucking here. So I am really bad at doing this. The day of, but day two of wolf season. Yesterday we were out looking, we cold trailed on one, uh, end up into a wolf kill with 
way more wolves than we want our dogs around. Um, we pulled them, started looking for a track. DNR warden stopped us and told us that because we don't have our full address on our dogs, even though we have where we live, the town, uh, my name, phone number on it, it's not enough identification on a dog. You don't need your phone number, you just need your address. So now if someone picks up my dog, they can drive two hours from where I'm hunting and go drop it off, but they can't just call me and tell me to drive the five minutes to come pick it up. So, uh, yeah, we went and bought all new dog collars last night, everything. Checking tracks now. I look kind of stoned. Girlfriend is making fun of me yesterday. I guess two hours of sleep isn't enough. Right, we're gonna go look at that one. Uh, yeah, that's how yesterday went. Today, no wolves. The first place we checked. Now we're up to the second place we checked. Same place we ran yesterday. I found a wolf with a bobcat in it. That's yesterday's track. Uh, the wolf didn't look all bad, but I know that bobcat hasn't been out since light. And the bobcat wasn't that fresh, really. And the bobcat walked right in the wolf's tracks. So, the wolf can't be that fresh. We're going to keep looking. And, yeah, wish us luck. We trailed for about six miles. I think it was on a wolf. I think they might have caught it. Not too sure about that. Um, dogs were fucking beat. I feel bad for them. They could barely walk, some of them. So we pulled them. We're looking for another track now. This is a lot harder than you'd think. This wolf is going to die. What? Be careful, He's bleeding. Over here where I'm at. What's that? Over here where I'm at. Yep, don't worry, these dogs are not giving us shots. I was literally five feet from him, couldn't shoot him on that one. Yeah, I'm only 120 yards from here, but I don't want to go off because. Got the shooter in here, got some lead in him, got a trap on his foot. He can barely run. This sucker's gotta die now. We got him. These two are a little gun shy. We're walking up to him now. But he's dead. He ran off a ways. Laid down and dropped. Two of them. Good girls, good boys. Good job. Yeah, um, good girl, Leah. Good girl, Leah. Good dogs. Good girl, Nala. Get him. Um.